Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss molarity and pH. Today's essential question, how is molarity related to hydroxide and hydronium concentrations? For today's lecture, you are going to need your calculators handy. All right, let's start with a really quick review on solutions. So a solution is a homogeneous liquid mixture. A solution is made up of two things, a solvent and then one or more solutes. The solvent in a solution is the primary component. It's a liquid, and you can think of it as the dissolving medium. It's the thing that does the dissolving. So for example, if we were going to make salt water, the water would be the solvent. The solute is the dissolved particle. So in our salt water example, the, again, the solvent was water the solute would be salt. And the solute is, can be the form of a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Okay, we need to go over a few more terms um, until we get to the real meat of the lecture. Um, so the next term is concentration. So the concentration of a solution is the measure of the amount of solute that is dissolved in a certain amount of solvent. A dilute solution is one that only contains low concentrations of solute, or a little bit of solute, where a concentrated solution contains a high concentration of solute, or more solute. Okay? And then we've got molarity. Molarity is one way to express concentration quantitatively with numbers, as opposed to using terms like dilute or concentrated, we, uh, molarity is a way to identify concentration using actual numbers. So molarity is the number of moles of a solute dissolved per liter of solution. So the formula is molarity equals moles over liters. Okay. Basically, molarity is how much stuff is dissolved in the liquid. All right, let's now talk about how to determine the molarity of an acid. So to determine the molarity of an acid from the concentration of H plus ions, or remember, that could also mean H plus is the same as talking about H3O1 plus, or to determine the concentration of the H plus ions from the molarity of an acid, you're going to use this equation. The subscript of the acid times the concentration of the acid equals the concentration of H plus or concentration of H3O. To determine the molarity of an Arrhenius base, one that ends with OH, you can do that from the concentration of OH ions or you can do it from the molarity of the base. You are going to use a very similar equation, except for its subscript of OH times the concentration of the base equals the concentration of OH. Okay, here's a list of all of the equations we have so far for calculating pH. Um, and for the most part, the things on the left are the things you're trying to find, the unknown. So we could be finding H3O or OH, pH, POH, H3O. OH, and on the right side is the stuff you already know, which could be, I mean, yeah, what you know. Okay. So now that you have that, let's try to do a practice problem. So we're going to do the problem, determine the pH, POH, concentration of H0, concentration of OH, of a three molar solution of H2SO4. First thing we should do is chart out and draw out our little ta data table. And now we need to figure out what the heck to do. So what they gave us is 3 molar H2SO4. So let's see what we can do with that. Well, 3 molar is a concentration and H2SO4 is an acid, so I guess we can use that formula right there. So we're going to have the subscript 
of H times the concentration of H. No, sorry, no, no, no. Times the concentration of the acid equals the H3O or H1 plus concentration. All right, so our subscript for H is right here. It's a 2. Our concentration is 3 molar, which means our H3O concentration is going to be 6 molar. So our H3O concentration is 6 molar. So now that we know concentration of H3O, let's see what we could figure out. So what we know is concentration of H3O, so we can figure out the pH, or we could also use this to figure out the OH. I'm going to pick doing that one, although it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to use the equation, um, concentration of H3O times the concentration of OH equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. We know we have 6 molar. We don't actually need that unit. So we know we have 6 molar. We don't know the concentration of OH equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. We'll divide both sides by 6. And when I put that in my calculator, I got 1.6666666 on and on times 10 to the negative. Got the best going on there times 10 to the negative 15th. Um, but we only have one sig fig, so our concentration of OH will be 2 times 10 to the negative 15th. All right, so now we know the concentration of H3O and the concentration of OH. And with those two pieces of information, we can figure out, uh, I did that one wrong, pH and POH. So for pH, we'll have pH equals negative log concentration of H3O, which gives us zero point or negative 0 0.778 and so forth. With only one sig fig, we'll have negative 0 0.8. And pOH is negative log of the concentration of OH, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 15th. And when we put that in, we get 14.698 and so forth. Um, hmm, with only one sig fig, we'll end up with a pOH of 10. And our last bit of information is, is this thing an acid, a base, or neutral? And we will use the pH to determine that, which is less than 7. So this guy is an acid. All right, let's try one more quick problem. If we have a solution of H3PO4 and it has an hydronium, ion concentration of 2 times 10 to the negative 2, what is the concentration of H3PO4, which is an acid? Well, let's go back and see, look at our formulas and see what we can use. Keeping in mind, we have the H3O concentration. And let's see, we want to find out the concentration of the acid. We know the H3O concentration. So why don't we use that formula right there? So we're going to use the formula, the subscript of the H times the concentration of the acid equals the H3O concentration. All right, so we know the, the subscript of the H is a 3. We don't know the concentration of the acid. That's our question. And we know the H3O concentration is 2 times 10 to the negative 2. So now to solve for the acid concentration, we will divide 
three on both sides, giving us an acid concentration of 6.66666 and so forth times 10 to the negative 3. We only have one sig fig, so our final answer will be the concentration of H3PO4 is 7 times 10 to the negative 3. All right, folks, that's it for today. Have a good one.